This mixer is the Mackie Micro Series 1402 VLZ. It's a 14 channel mic and line mixer. Now, uh, this particular unit has um, some interesting features. Uh, and it's uh, basically got six microphone inputs and uh, that's the important thing to most recordists. Uh, each one of those has got uh, phantom power if required and uh, there's a global phantom power switch on the back so it's 48 volt phantom power uh, on each input, balanced inputs with XLRs. Each uh, channel's also got its own line input that's here and then uh, a low cut uh, switch which you can put in and that will um, knock out frequencies below 75 Hertz. Trim control for uh, obviously setting the gain of the channel and then auxiliary sends one and two which can be effects or one of them can be pre-fade if you wish. Um, you can select either way um, for, uh, for effects or if you go pre-fade you can use that for monitors. A simple EQ system here with the uh, high, you can hear that, um, mid, fixed mid, fixed frequency mid and low shelving filter there. So fairly basic EQ but um, good enough for um, a, a wide range of applications. Pan control obviously from one side to the other, there we are. <clears throat> Now I'm uh, talking on a microphone, this microphone running through channel one here, and uh, you'll see there's a mute button. So if I press the button, I will then not be heard. Um, a solo button, which allows the channel to be soloed pre-fade um, across the uh, phones, the headphones. Although you won't hear that on the uh, outputs that you're listening to here because they're coming out from these uh, master outputs here. The phone's output is here, uh, also uh, controls the level to the control room. There's a separate pair of control room output uh, sockets on the back uh, and it's that control room output that has the flexibility to monitor the uh, the source, the, the main mix, or an alternative bus, uh, three, what it calls 3-4, considering this to be 1-2, um, that comes out the back, sockets on the back, and indeed when you press the mute button here, uh, not only does it mute the signal into the main output uh, channel, but it will also steer the output from this into that auxiliary 3-4 uh, bus, and the pan will be left uh, right between those 3 and 4 outputs. And with the selection buttons you can actually have them all down at the same time if you wish. There's also a selection to listen to tape because you could be recording this out on the tape outputs which mimic the main outputs but any, there's a tape input here so you can come back from your recording device and you can monitor what's coming back from the recording device by pressing that tape button there. And the alternative 3, 4 and the tape can be assigned to the main mix if you press that button they'll come over the main mix. So you could, in theory, uh, create a submix onto the alternative 3-4 bus and bring that in to the, um, uh, to the main uh, mix if you wished. So there's, a, there's flexibility there. I can't immediately think when you would use it, but um, these things occur to you when you're uh, in a position of desperation and need to fix something. The, uh, the huge number of 14 channels is actually made up uh, of not only the six uh, principal channels but also these stereo pairs one two three and four so you've got four sets of, of stereo inputs here left and right and such like each one of those can be selected uh, between a level a nominal level of plus four VU which is sort of high uh, high line level uh, as found on professional equipment and minus ten which is the kind of line level you're going to get out of amateur or semi-pro equipment. So fairly flexible there, but bear in mind that there's actually no um, variable gain control on each of these channels. So a kind of AV mixer um, could be used for a small radio station um, in conjunction with whatever um, PC equipment you've got. Um, 
but obviously uh, you'd have to have external capture cards. There's nothing sophisticated in this whatsoever. It's just a basic mixer. There are no effects. There's no computer interface, nothing. Um, so if what you want is a basic, um, basic analog mixer, that's what this is. I'll just turn the unit round here. We're going to just point out that there are mains input. This is 230 to 240 volts, um, so it doesn't deal with uh, your low voltages uh, for the USA. Power switch, global phantom power. Switch that on, and there's 48 volts to all of the all of the uh, XLR connectors. There are main left and right balanced outputs on these on these XLRs. These are true balanced line outputs, uh, differential driven line outputs. You can select whether they are a full professional line output voltage uh, plus four VU, or whether they're down at mic uh, level. Mic level is useful if you're going into a direct in check box um, into a mixer using this as a, a kind of a sub mixer. Control room outputs, so these are the things that allow you to um, listen to your solos and uh, select the uh, main and uh, auxiliary buses. This is the alternative three and four output, so these are available for other purposes. And each of the principal microphone channels has its own channel insert point. So there we are, that's the Mackie 1402 VLZ mic and line mixer.